Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to share with you just a couple of tricks and things that I do in the kitchen to make getting lots of veggies in my diet inexpensive, simple, and convenient. Last week when I ran to the store, um, see it's market side brand so it was Walmart, but they had this bag of organic rainbow cow on sale. I grabbed this bag and quite frankly it's just taking up space in the fridge so I am doing some meal prep with it now and I will show you what I'm doing. I like to take produce items like that and cook them ahead of time or do a little bit of meal prep. I'm not someone who does uh, meal prep meal preps and portioned meals for a week or so in advance. I just, I don't have a microwave and I'm cooking for seven people for almost every single meal. It's just not practical. I like to do batch cooking and one way that I use up uh, clearance items like that that come into uh, our pantry unexpectedly is to batch cook ahead of time. So one way I am doing that is using this big bag of kale to make some sauteed kale in advance. This way I can add it on top of salads, I can warm it up as sides with meals, I can toss it in a bowl of soup, I can use it so many ways and it's already cooked, seasoned, and convenient. Here I have two medium-sized onions. I just sliced them thin with the mandolin there into the pan with a little olive oil little pink Himalayan sea salt and fresh ground black pepper. I have the stove on medium high heat and while these come up just to start sauteing, I am going to work on the kale. Because a lot of time these bagged products that you're going to get from the store um, are gonna be a mixed bag quite literally, you'll get big stems like this. So I'm going through and taking out these big stems Give it a good once over and then I spray it with my favorite produce cleaner just because even if it says organic it still has probably been sprayed with something because organic standards are so loose. Um, this is Young Living Thieves Fruit and Veggie Spray. You can use whatever your favorite produce cleaner is but I highly recommend cleaning especially leafy greens like spinach and kale before you eat them whether it's raw cooked, organic or not. And I will just go through kind of uh, rinsing and cleaning in batches until this whole bag is empty. The onions are making some noise now, so I'm going to add the kale. Now after all the kale is in there, I'm just going to use the tongs to mix it. And it's going to shrink down a lot to let any stickiness. It's going to shrink down a lot, but for now it has quite a bit of volume in this pan. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium just to make sure that everything has a chance to cook through and it doesn't get dark. Now it's only been a few minutes, but as you can see, this has wilted down to like half of its volume. So I'm actually going to turn the heat down to medium low and cover it so that it can cook kind of low and slow at this point and the kale has a chance to get really, really soft and the onions sort of caramelize in there. I'll take the lid off occasionally and give it a good thorough stir every few minutes. Another way that I save money and make good eating easy is I buy the big family packs of six bell peppers at my local grocery store. These are multicolored peppers and I get these because I love doing roasted red peppers. These I took out and I'm going to be putting under the broiler. I will put up an iCard as well as in the info box below how we make roasted red peppers at home. Super easy. This bag of six is $3.99 at my local grocery store, which is a really great price for really nice, big, quality bell peppers. The red peppers will roast, and that honestly knocks down their volume because they'll fit in a much smaller container, and that saves us room in the fridge, 
which when you have a family of seven and you're eating tons of fresh produce, fridge space is at a premium. So these will go in the crisper. These will be roasted and put in a small glass Pyrex container or pint-sized mason jar and used as needed over the next couple of weeks. All right, it's been about 10 minutes since I started cooking this. As you can see, the onions have pretty much melted down and the kale has really softened into a nice cooked texture. I'm going to cook this for probably about five more minutes, but first I'm going to add a splash of apple cider vinegar. This is my local store's really good quality uh, version of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to add a splash, probably a couple tablespoons of this, stir it up, mix it all together, maybe a little more salt and pepper to taste, cover it and let it cook for about five more minutes before it's done. All right, it's been about five minutes. This is cooked down so nicely and it is ready to eat as it is. You can use this as a side for a meal. It is so delicious or you can use it in addition to other meals. It has lots of uses. Now I have my Rubbermaid container and yes, I know it's plastic, but it will not be heated in this container. I know glass is better. We are in the process of working all plastics out of our house, but right now we still have some plastics. So we use it when it won't be heated up and it will just be used to store things in the refrigerator to keep them cold. And there you have it. That huge bag of kale that was right here is now this little container of cooked kale that is ready to eat in so many different ways. This will save you space in your refrigerator. It will also make eating healthy and getting greens in various foods so much easier. You can add a scoopful of that to scrambled eggs in the morning. You can add it on top of a salad or in a wrap or just put it on the side of your plate as a side dish. You can eat it cold because there is no animal product in this. It was cooked in olive oil, so it will taste good and it won't have a fatty texture and it's perfectly safe to eat cold as it is just like this. Things like this make our lives a lot easier eating healthy and saving that premium space in the refrigerator when you're eating ton of produce. Another thing I will add is that a lot of nutrition experts have said it's actually better to eat hearty greens like kale and spinach cooked because it breaks down the oxalic acid that can be rough on digestion and can also prevent you from absorbing a lot of nutrients. So all those raw kale smoothies might actually be counterproductive. There is good hard sci scientific evidence that cooking it breaks down the oxalic acid. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, feel free to correct me. But <laughs> They say if you mispronounce things, it means you learn them by reading and reading is filling your brain with knowledge. So that's my excuse. It's a great way to use it. It seems to be healthier as far as scientific evidence and it's super convenient. The roasted red peppers are finished and those three huge peppers turned into a two cup Pyrex container of roasted red peppers. And as you can see, my refrigerator is stuffed to the gills. It is, there is no extra space. But the things I do like this, like this is a dozen hard boiled eggs. I do this as soon as I get home from shopping. So we have a quick, easy protein source. It's already done. It, they can be used so many ways. This is that kale that I made earlier. That was that huge bag. This, it's three big bell peppers roasted and we can use these so many ways and it becomes a small container. These are just a few of the ways that I am able to utilize things lots of different ways to buy in bulk, save money, and facilitate really convenient clean eating for our family. I hope some of that was helpful for you. I would love to hear in the comments below any ways that you have found that are your sort of personal favorite kitchen hacks 
that are ways you can save space with fresh foods in the fridge or clean eating, meal prep sort of batch cooking hacks. I would love to hear it all. Leave those in the comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye, friends.